Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee with Tom and Joanne. I'm Joanne Toronto. I'm Tom Matthews. And this morning we wanted to talk a little bit about the locations of where we personally live and kind of why we why we chose those locations. Um, there's a lot that goes into choosing where you want to live. Um, you know, a lot of different amenities that you want to consider. So Tom, tell us a little bit about why you chose the location where you live. Absolutely, thank you, Joanne. It's a story actually that goes back to a Valentine's Day dinner with my wife, Amanda. We were sitting in one of our favorite restaurants in Concord called 80 Thoreau. And we were saying it's um, located in the depot right above the train station. And we said, wouldn't it be cool to be able to walk to this restaurant? and to be able to walk around Concord. So we actually bought a house on Elsinore Street, which is in a neighborhood called Behind the Depot. So it's right outside of Concord Center. And we bought it seven years ago. And for a man and I, we love to walk. We lived in Maynard before this and we walked to town there. And we wanted to be able to walk to coffee shops. We go to Starbucks and Dunks and Cafe Nero and Hote Coffee. We have all these different places that are at our fingertips. And for us, that was a lifestyle decision. You know, we, we obviously sacrificed on having to buy a smaller house for our budget. But for us, the outside and the walkability was so important. You know, I never use the train, but we can. We can walk right to the train, go into the city. You know, our, our business is such that we either are typically driving to our locations. But one of my favorite family activities is that we will get up on a Sunday morning and the five of us will get this time of year, get our gloves on, go out and we will walk into the Concord Center and we will go to either Main Street Cafe and get what my son Tommy calls uh, breakfast burgers. So they have hot, ready to go uh, egg sandwiches with sausage or bacon. And then we'll get like a coffee and the kids will get there. They love to get strawberry lemonade and we will go to behind them. They have picnic tables set up along a brook. And we will sit there, eat our breakfast burgers, have our coffees. And then when the kids are done, there's a long ramp that goes up to the Bank of America. And the kids love to have a race course up and down the ramp. And, and that's just like a really fun activity and something that brings a lot of joy to my family. So that's why we chose to live where we are in Concord Center. How about you, Joanne? Tell us a little bit about your location, what you like about it. I love, I love the concept of bref breakfast burgers. That's awesome. So, um, so I actually live on the other side of Concord. I live in West Concord. And something that I love about this part of town is it's, you know, it's like the revival, you know, there's a lot of new businesses going into town, a lot of long standing businesses. And um, I chose this location because I wanted to live in a neighborhood. Um, so I live in a neighborhood that's great for bike riding and walking, jogging. Um, there's a great circle. It's about, it's a little less than a half a mile. So if you just don't want to go far, you can sort of loop around it. It's like a track. It's nice and flat. Um, I, I love this location even more now that I've had to spend more time at home during the pandemic. And something that um, I really love is that there are two conservation areas that I can walk to right out my front door. Um, a quick walk down to the end of Wright Road brings you to a wonderful area where um, I think that the I think the trees there were probably planted because they're really uniform, but I mean, they're huge. Like, and we're talking about planted trees from maybe 60 or 70 years ago. Um, but it goes along the river there um, out to the school street fields. We love to walk back there. It goes into the Acton sand pits. There's some great little treasures back there for um, trees to climb and so forth. So my kids and I, we love to go there. There's also um, Concord Park uh, trail that's on the other side of the road from us. And um, that's like a great little loop. You, you don't really encounter that many people back there, but often people you know, will walk their dogs. Um, but lots of little treasures down there. Uh, there is an area that kids can ice skate if you want to maintain the ice. And um, it's just like a shallow, um, I think it's probably like a drainage area, but it's you know, a great little spot that I've been told in generations past that lots of kids have spent their entire winters ice skating there. 
Um, I can also walk to the park to ride out park. So um, getting down to the park is, is, is a zip. And we love going down there and playing there, meeting up with friends. And then also just uh, the new rail trail, uh, being able to get on that. And you know, right now they're building the bridge that's gonna go over route two. And um, from one of the conservation areas, you can actually watch them building the bridge. So sometimes we sit and have a snack and watch the guys building the bridge. Um, and that will connect West Concord to Acton, which is great because that's a whole other set of businesses um, that we can then access by foot or on bike, um, both of which we like to do. So the rail trail really gives us an opportunity. We can get all the way, you know, we've gone as far as, you know, riding our bikes down to White Pond, um, just riding your, our bikes around uh, West Concord Center, going to Deborah's. And um, of course, we got the walk to Reasons to be Cheerful, which is the awesome ice cream place in West Concord, which they have a walk-up window that you can go to and just get, you know, an ice cream cone and, and walk home with it. We just, we love this location. It's convenient to route to. You can also walk to the train, something that I don't, I don't use the train um, in my life and neither does my husband, but um, having, we do, we did use the train for social reasons going, you know, going into uh, Boston, super easy to go out to dinner, hop on the train, hang out. And, um, you know, we, we lived within walking distance to a train before this, and it was something that was moderately important to us uh, to have, to have access to, because uh, you never know where life will take you. But we love West Concord, and, and we've really gotten to know our neighbors a lot better during this pandemic. And um, I hope to live here for a very long time. Awesome. Awesome, Joanne. Well, thank you for sharing about West Concord. I was happy to share about Concord Center. And thank you to people who are listening to Coffee with Tom and Joanne. We yep. will look forward to seeing you guys some, sometime soon. Cheers. Next time. Cheers.